this final series, the grand finals of this tournament. For those of you guys who are tuning in just now, we are in a space where winning this tournament, winning this one best of five left remaining, will get you straight to Stockholm, to the World Cup, as we head to Ghana. Because tape. Yeah, and as we said, they have different play styles. As you can see, MK person just immediately uh, went to the map and locked down without even moving. Mm -hmm. Whereas Sheena's looking for that information, trying to look for stuff that helps. But in the end, it's just Acre. And I feel like I feel like this is where Sheena maybe can. I mean, I feel like the other players have tried but not succeeded. But I feel like this is where Sheena could potentially pull the pace out of mk you know what i mean if he takes every single quick guess to those extra 15 seconds then maybe just maybe there's a world where he forces him to play slower yeah 15 seconds is more than you think and yeah. um we have a japan round which can be super handy for sheena mm -hmm. i mean it's not the first not the second round he had some uh I mean, he won, rounds to prove he won maps <laughs> on yeah. uh, on japan uh, true yeah, and they both look at the polls who give you information about the rough region in Japan. Both making use of that. Both in the same region as well. In Shugoku. And MK got it's closer. A bit closer here, yeah. MK closer. In November last year, I was around exactly there on a bullet train. Um, I accidentally took it in the wrong direction, so it made my trip three hours longer than it was supposed to be, but that's a whole other story. Hey, as, we uh, head in. as long as it's in a pretty country like Japan, <laughs> exactly. you can't be mad about that. Nope, not at all. Not at all. As we now head into open territory here. MK still ahead winning the first two rounds, but uh, Gina, far from done here. Plenty of game left to play. Yeah, and these road lines are very common in South Australia. You see it mostly on the A1. Um, but still, South Australia is pretty big, mm -hmm. so you have to really line it up and find where on the stretch you are, as both players do. I'm googling um, the time zone in Korea, oh sorry, in uh, Japan right now, and I'm not sure of course where exactly in Japan um, uh, Gina is playing from, but it's currently 5.40 a.m. in Tokyo. 540 okay he is uh i mean we are all gamers you know this is how yeah. we got into it and uh sheena he is fully committed on this one and this is a good round for him showing that even though it's 30 morning hours and he's watching the sunrise through his window he can bring on rounds like that now a thousand points ahead of mk in round one all right this looks like a pretty country definitely does wouldn't you say so yeah <laughs> We are I know Baklava. I like Baklava. <laughs> Therefore, I think this is a pretty country as well. Yeah. Um, by the architecture, we have a lot of tile roofs, which is more common in the West. Especially with these type of pine trees. Um, we are somewhere in Central West, I would say. Usually you want to look for trash bins, which mm -hmm. always say the city on them. Okay. Or most of the times, which also is something both players zoom on right now. It's kind of hard to make out. I can't really tell which city it's set, but um, by how it looks like, I would say we are somewhere central west in the country. Also, I will say thank you so much, Turkey, for always having flags everywhere. It's very convenient <laughs> when you're not that good at the game and you're still learning that uh, they're just screaming in your face, learn our flags and you know where you are. <laughs> and shoot. <laughs> uh, and yeah, we have a sign with Atabe, which is around Isparta. Bit of distance okay, between the two guesses, west, but equally far from the answer, I suppose, as this is gonna be just a hundred damage. This could have been again, I mean, a round where I had um, Sheena maybe seen something. That's a lot of points you could have taken off of MK and the other way around as well. Mm -hmm. We head into round number five, three times multiplier. Could be pretty hurtful, as uh, I mean, again, to me, this could be anywhere, but what do you see here, Chilonchus? For now, it looks like. Maybe Argentina to me. Okay. Uh, it's very flat. We have these fences that are very common in South America. Um, and I think Sheena likes to see that because Sheena is pretty good at Argentina. But MK putting on that pressure again. Sheena still trying to use information, looking at the copyright, driving around, looking at the car. Look at the cows. 
looking at the cows as well. As well. <laughs> <laughs> and also have the region guests in some countries. Ooh. It was in Buenos Aires province. That's interesting. Massive damage coming through. 2,600 as that as uh, at that as MK now jumping up ahead of Sheena. 15 point, uh, 1,500 points ahead. Hopping over to Rogers Brothers land clearing. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what round number six is going to take us. Yeah, looks pretty swampy. I would say we are maybe in Florida. Um, could probably predict a quick Area guess again. There. Oh, Ooh. it's actually, we have a George, I guess, which I yep. also can see. One in Florida, one in Georgia, and it was in the pocket of Florida. But I like the change of pace here. Sheena trying to, you know, yeah. up MK with a quick guess. It's not something we've seen at all. So, um, I mean, in any of his previous rounds, I feel like he's always been the last one to guess. But this time around, you can see the smile on his face. Initially, he's been like, oh, you know, I tried. I, I tried yeah. to uh, to get the jump on MK, but it didn't work out. I think Sheena saw something there that made him guess Georgia. I don't know what it was, but it seems like he had a clue for Georgia there. It was a bit unlucky it didn't turn out to be there. Sign. Unfortunately, the paper is folded the wrong way, so I can't really read what's... What it says, good thing is that they can move around. They can try and see where they can go. Four times multiplier, one bit of an error here, and it could be game. Again, keep in mind, everyone, we are playing a best of five. What are you seeing here, Jill? Um, this looks like Italy. For now, with the architecture, these poles, we are in a valley, a bit of vineyards or olive trees, a couple of palm trees, also these round mirrors you see a lot in Italy. They try to get some information here. Um, 20 seconds. Kind of interesting. We have mountains on both sides. That close because I thought of northern valleys. But we could also be a bit more inland here with how close the mountains are to each other. 10 seconds and only now are they opening the map. They're very close near vicinity to one another. As I say that, a bit further south now. Oh, mm, yeah. Sheena, last second readjustment. He is going to win the round, but he was all the way up there by Naples, but uh, opted to go further south last second. And where in the past we've seen him do this, where it really helped him this time around, that's uh, a lot of extra points he could have gotten that he didn't. Yeah, I can totally understand MK's guess there. Hedging a bit towards the north, uh, because as I said, the vibes were northern, but the terrain did more. I mm. feel like uh, we are in the inlands or anywhere. This is beautiful, by the way. This is indeed beautiful, and we are in Bhutan. We have a quick guess from MK again. Um, I don't know if you will find information on a round like this. Um, not really too many signs you see in Bhutan, mm. usually. We've sprinted through these rounds. We're already heading into round number nine. MK once again closer. Will this be game though? No, not at all. What am I saying? Um, it's just, Too it, smart of a country, like both further guessing apart. meta. Yeah. <laughs> looked like they were further apart to me than they were, but then I realized it was just 24 kilometers. It just looked big on the map. Um, yeah. As we now hop into round number nine. This one is going to go all the way down to the final stretch. We might even get an NPC here, depending on how things continue. But still... 2,000 points ahead right now as MK. Let's see if Sheena can turn this around. All right, and we are in Europe. Um, seems like we don't have an antenna on the car. Looking around, a couple mountains of so Serbia, North Macedonia is something they should consider here. Um, for me, it looks more like Serbia, maybe South Serbia. Is there enough points for Sheena to be found here to even things out for round 10? With um, Serbia now, I mean, hedging Serbia for MK. I think so, because I feel like they will be in a similar place with their guesses as on the previous round. Let's so see. Sheena really has to hope for a big country in the next round. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty much on top of each other with this one. Yeah. Indeed, they are. A few extra points going the way of MK, just separating himself that much more. If Sheena now loses by 30 points. Those 30 coming through there on round 9 would be absolutely detrimental. But let's now see as we hop into the final round of the first match here. Sheena needs at least 2,500 points off of MK in order to bring this one home. Yeah, and we are pretty urban. Um, in the UK, we have a yellow license plate on the back white license plates on the front. 
He just... Uh, we have a quick guess by Sheena. He's trying to, he of all course, in. get the win here by making a quick, quick guess and putting pressure on. Um, MK playing it safe in the middle and it was not an island. I mean, there was a world in which you could have won it had they he opted to hedge towards could have, could Ireland, have. The Northern Ireland instead of Scotland, but not to be. That is going to be MK with the win in round number one. A pretty intense one at that. I feel like we saw MK try and again maintain this speed and maybe, I mean, yes, he wins the round, but maybe Sheena not able to, you know, force him to slow things down enough. Yeah, I think the rounds weren't too interesting, to be honest. Um, you saw them mostly clicking on the same areas, roughly, mm. besides the Argentina one. I think that was really the one where you had to pick up um, points, which was the case for MK, and that's I think that's really how he won this match. Mm. Well, let's now hop on in to match number two. Again, it is a best of five, so um, we're going to be at least guaranteed another two games. But uh, let's see who's going to come up victorious here as we hop into the first of uh, what will potentially be two no-move games. Let me just update the scoreboard so there's no big confusion because we do have MK currently set in first place. Head into round number one. Yeah, and we go over to the no move mode, which both players prefer, I would say. Um, it's definitely something they play more than moving. Is this where Sheena strikes back? Is that, do you feel like Sheena might have an advantage in no move over MK, or is their playstyles just, I feel like their difference in playstyle just favors MK massively. Yeah, they are. They have a def different play style, but they still prefer both prefer this game mode. Um, therefore, I don't know if the play style really has a big role here. It's more on moving games, mm. where the play style will um, make any difference in how the games turn out. However, here you really have to get closer they are with what you can work to with moving games. So <laughs> I guess theoretically yeah. that should be what you're best at. No. Mm -hmm. And nope. yeah, we have the first plunk down by Sheena. Quite a difficult round, I would say. Um, it looks like it is Brazil, but where? I couldn't tell you. Oh, it was coastal around yeah, close Rio enough. de Janeiro. Close enough points. But yeah. Going the way of uh, Sheena early on. Again, want to build that momentum, want to get confidence back in after that earlier loss. We'll now mm -hmm. see where this next one takes us. Yeah, and as I already said, a very equal skill here, which you can also see mm. from their guesses. They make very similar guesses um, on most of the rounds so far. Here we are in Indonesia. It's a pretty flat valley, a lot of rice, which are both good indicators for Java. Mm -hmm. However, region guessing Java can be a bit tricky if you don't have uh, region specific poles, which we don't have here, I think. So yeah, we see center guesses, and again, very equal guesses, nothing happening here besides 47 points. Yeah, it's, uh, of course, I mean, round two multipliers are never going to hurt too hard, but when you have two players that are this equally skilled, it's always amazing to watch how, um, I mean, how slim those margins end up becoming. Mm -hmm. And I wonder where we are here. Ooh. I love it when you guys are not confused, but, you know, not sure, because usually that tells me that maybe the players aren't either, which could potentially have us get uh, big games going. I remember back in the Europe qualifiers, how we had people on different continents and I was jumping out of the chair. I mean, it's uh, it's always amazing when you see that much doubt coming in this time around, though. We'll see if that's going to be the same, as it seems like Gina is looking towards mm -hmm. Slovakia. Hey, it looks like... We have a Romanian marker there, but at the same time, I didn't think Romania. Also, the lines are a bit too narrow to be Romania, therefore I'm a bit, bit confused. Uh, the Croatia, I guess, makes sense to me, given like the road quality and these cornfields, which you see in eastern Croatia. Uh, the vegetation also fits, I like that guess. Um, but yeah, let's see. Ooh, it was Sheena. actually Slovakia. Yeah. Really great pickup there from Sheena. Huge points coming through. Almost a thousand in round three. Not often times we see that toll coming in. So uh, finally, able to claw back, able to punch back as he sits untouched into round four. Yeah, he really 
likes to make that guess getting a bit of uh, confidence boost maybe mm -hmm. um, and we are in eastern US northeast US by how it looks like I think we have a West Virginia plunk down from Sheena and a West Virginia from MK which both makes sense um, I don't think the road might fit, but you can definitely get them there. But yeah, I'll find I think it's close still in West Virginia. I think again. it's in the pocket. I mean, these guys are running side by side. It's uh, definitely not a sprint right now. While I, mean, I would say that it feels like MK has slowed things down a little bit, and that's really helping out Sheena quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Keeping him in the game. What are we seeing here? All just right, what do me. we see? I would say we don't see a lot. It's uh, a couple of trees and a dirt road. Um, however, the sun is in the north. So we should be in Australia, I think, by how deserty it looks. Uh, we have a guest down from Sheena. I didn't know where he... Oh, okay. He was in Australia. Sheena close up, but of course minimal points. But we're just going to keep stacking up those multipliers, heading into round number six. We just need one off guess by one of the guys, and that's going to be game, regardless of the points they're currently sat at, as we now have the 3.5 times multiplier. What are we looking at here in round number six, Jilo? All right. First off, I thought Bulgaria, um, with how the road looked and the summer coverage, but at the same time, it kind of looks like Spain, especially with this drainage along the road, which you can see there sometimes. Mm, really hard to make a guess. I mean, we have a sign. Uh, it's a bit too small on my screen to make out a guess based on that. Mm. But the signpost can usually tell you or rule out Spain. Because um, if it is a flat signpost, that's a good confirmation that we are in Spain. It kind of looks like that for yeah. me. I would agree, but I'm no expert. But the fact that we're having MK play down to 10 seconds means that he's mm -hmm. definitely not too sure either. See, yeah. Sheena shaking his head now too. Neither of these two guys too confident, but look at the distance in between. It was yeah, Portugal, are... it's Spain. Yeah, they are not sure about the country either. We have a Portugal guess, one Spain guess, and it was southern Portugal. Um, down towards the south, a lot of damage coming through. 1,400 at that nice hit back for MK to even things out at just over 4,000. Yeah, MK would have wished to make a better region guess there. That could have been a lot of points. Um, on the other side, Sheena is happy that it was in the south. Mm. So it wasn't too many points. And we are what looks like Mexico to me, maybe. Uh, with this architecture. With kind of the Mount Ridge to the west. Those electrical counters are also Mexican. Uh, the Monterey guess makes a lot of sense with the Mount Ridge to the west. Um, however, we have Sheena in Aguas Calientes, I think. Yeah. Um, yes. Yep, he is there. So we have different guesses. This could be a lot of points. He's switching oh. back, though. Jumps oh, right and back. It was <laughs> indeed just the Monterey Rich. Good change up again. I mean, yeah. he, while he loses 700, that would have been game had he opted to stay further down towards the south. So uh, nice for Shiva that his second guessing once again gets the better of him. I'm seeing something Definitely. that I recognize. Yep, let's see how fast the guys get it to. Mm hmm. It's very rare that I can contribute with anything in like the expert panel side of the game, but uh, <laughs> sometimes, you know, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are a couple of clues that are classics that a lot of people know. The Colombian cross is one of them. Uh, it's looking pretty dry, which you usually get more in the northwest of the country, um, where we also see both of them guessing. Mm -hmm. We are already in round eight, though, and if we see similar guesses again. Indeed, and right in between him is where the location is. It's uh, <laughs> honestly, I mean, these guys are just full on same pace all the way through. We are seeing MK separate himself by a little bit coming into round mm -hmm. nine, and now is where Sheena needs to strike back for the potential round 10. Oh, yeah, and this is definitely where it can happen mm -hmm. as we have a uh, nondescript India round. Um, I don't think these are. Uh, are these region specific poles? They could be. Um, they could be maybe Madhya Pradesh poles. 
Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, it looks a bit more northern to me, but yeah. I'm curious about how they will end up with their guesses. See, locks in. First time again that we're seeing uh, Sheena with the early lock, but MK instantly there to follow. They're both gonna be off, mm, but yep. uh, Sheena gets it right. 470 damage done. It's gonna, I mean, they're practically <laughs> tied. Coming I in mean, now to the final round. Yeah, on this round, I really didn't expect to see them guessing this close to each other again, so. I'm just gonna say against you, know, just, this is where Denmark would be amazing. We never get to be important, but imagine. No. No. <laughs> no. But, someday, however, someday. Do you know the country? Uh, I'm uh, looking at concrete you, stuff. Philippines. I give you a clue. One of <laughs> those players is happy to see this country. Then it's maybe Japan. You are correct. I would imagine. It doesn't look very American to me, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> it is Japan. However, very, very little to work with. Oh, he is going fast. Nothing. Does uh, Sheena lose it in Japan? Guys. Let's see, will he make a region guess? Yes, he's committing very far south. A lot of distance. Uh, on a 5.5 multiplayer, this can decide I mean, the game definitely. Game. It's gonna be Unless game it's regardless. Right in the middle and it was Okinawa. Okay, now, but is it enough damage done? Yes, indeed it is, and he that will win the round. Wow. Once. Wow. Okay, this is the third time that Sheena has won a game in Japan today. <laughs> He is wow. very happy about that. That's as I said. Uh, sometimes it just comes down to luck and GeoGuessr. That's just how it is. I mean, all that and is neither a... of them got it correct. So, but <laughs> then on the, on the other side, he picked up the sudden vibe there. And yes, I I'm happy we we got this round on the last one because <sighs> on multis you usually usually don't want to have a small country. You really want True. them to. Uh, yeah, pick up the win on an actual decent guess and not out hedging. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty good game. Well, we said that it could go all the way down to the very final one. And, uh, well, this one might. Let me just set up everything here. But what do you see in this match that, I mean, maybe it keeps you on your pick for who's going to win it? Maybe changes it up a bit. Was there anything here that uh, that had you go the other way? I don't think so. I don't really think so. I... Um... Didn't have any expectations on that one. I didn't have it at all anyway. Mm. Um, but especially on that one, I really couldn't predict that. Okay. However, on NMPZ, later on. If we get there. That, if we get there, <laughs> then I could maybe pick up a favorite. Not okay. saying it yet, okay. though. No spoilers. Uh, no spoilers. But, we'll save but it. we go back to moving first and uh, see how it will turn out. If they maybe change up their play style, if yeah. they stick to it, let's see what's happening here. I mean, moving has been where MK has been putting up quite a fast pace. So let's see if he's going to try and continue with set pace as we head on over to match number three. One, one is the board. We said that it might go all the way down to the final one. Right now, it looks like it could be the case, but let's see what happens here. Yeah. We are in Asia again. Would say maybe Thailand. Um, for now, maybe I shouldn't make a shot too early. Could also be Philippines, maybe. Um, yeah. Sheena's trying to get out of this. Um, <laughs> but MK so. is trying to, yeah, really get information based on the landscape, based on the mountain routes. Um, yeah. A Let's different see. play style to see again here. Finally some houses, but no flags, mm -hmm. no... I mean, maybe enough for him to go North Thailand, yeah. Yeah, maybe, especially now you have poles around, which confirm we are indeed in Thailand. And it was just in the middle. MK is going to be closer even when Sheena tries to match the pace. MK is not going to get pushed around. Uh, so that one is going to go in his favor as we head on over to a very, very beautiful valley. But where, mm -hmm. where is it? Yeah, looks pretty green. We have those spiky bushes, the white Google car. Everything screams Bolivia to me. Also with these brick buildings. Now, again, they don't really fast move. They really look around trying to find something here mm -hmm. rather than going out. Um, I don't think I would have played it this way because usually if you 
drive through a town to a small town, I expect a town sign mm -hmm. whenever you exit it. That's what I would look for, which is also something Sheena's looking for right now. He's panning his 360s as soon as he did exit the city. Um, but yeah, keeps on moving. Nothing there. Would probably also be a pretty small place name. Mm. Which I would be surprised if they know it, but you never know. No, true. Sometimes you get lucky. The more you move, mm -hmm. the bigger your chance of uh, getting crucial info. Both of them letting it run all the way down to zero. As this one takes us east and quite a bit of damage. I mean, everything considered early days still, of course. But a nice strike back to even things out coming into round three. Yeah, that's more points than I expected here. The La Paz guess was interesting. Shade house. Um, but could have been. You never know. No, that is true. That is true. Evened out is where we're sat here in round three is now. Gina, I try to uh, maintain this lead. Now claimed mm -hmm. over MK. Yeah, and we have some language here. Spanish language should be in South America. Or maybe Mexico. A lot of info on the sides there too. Want to learn anything about diving or Darwin? Oh, is it a trekker? Darwin has been there. It might be like an island. I was gonna say, like yeah, a or something. Or is they it are on Galapagos right now? Like, at least China is on Galapagos Island. That's which is an commit. island that belongs to Ecuador, but so is MK. And yeah, it was indeed the Galapagos Island trekker. Phenomenal. You don't see it too often, but they both know it. Out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, well, the middle of the ocean, I should say. As we... Uh, <laughs> up back once more. Galapagos. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you forget they exist. Then you remember big... Is it the Komodo dragons that are from the Galapagos Islands? Uh, I don't remember. Wasn't, sure. Wasn't Galapagos the island where they sent out all the like prisoners and then they just got eaten by big... Dinosaur-looking Komodo dragons. I think it was. In any case, that's <laughs> it. I don't know about that. Not let's the best continue. History. Um, but yeah, we have a quick guess here again from MK. Not much happening. I think it's Taiwan. Not too big of a country. Both in Taipei, and it was indeed easy peasy. Evens out completely yeah. as uh, these guys stay completely within reach of one another. We fast forward. We go into round five as a three times multiplier might. Help do a little bit more damage here, but I mean, it doesn't really matter with the multiply if these guys keep being as close as they are. Yeah, and we are in Bangladesh by the looks, by the language. Uh, we have a district name there, maybe. Uh, I can't read it, unfortunately. I did learn a bit of Bengali, but I can't really make out the text. It's not really readable for me from this distance, but we have a Western Bangladesh guest by Sheena and a capital guest Dakar from MK. And MK is just the better of it. She, like I like the idea that he tries to just not go into the big city, but I mean, off to go off to a side. So in case he was on point, he'd get home. But uh, in this case, mm -hmm. not quite. So a lot of damage done. As he now sits as 800 points down. Yeah, and we are back in. Turkey. Um, what do we have to work with here? And again, I would say it looks more Western by now. We have a sign with Kirche, which is, which is in the center, southeast of Ankara. Sheena knows where it is, both know it. It's a province as well, so it's mm. pretty known if you have practiced Turkey for a bit more. <laughs> Incredibly um, yeah. evenly match these guys Those again. Two. I mean, <laughs> so minimal the damage that comes through here. Round seven. What are we seeing? Mm -hmm. We have TE on the street sign, which leads you to Estonia. Um, region guessing Estonia on a location like this uh, might be a bit tough. Again, Sheena's trying to move out, maybe find a sign. However, MK sticks with his playstyle with quick guessing. And what do we get here point-wise? 
They're both up there. Sheena doing some micro adjustments and it pays off for him yeah. this time around. Again, I mean, it's not massive. It's 280 damage, but still that little margin in between him. As long as you can get it as close or preferably in your favor coming into the last round, that'd be huge. Yeah, and if you look back at the games we had so far, at the rounds we had so far, you know they are always on the same area with their plungs. So every point matters now, I would say. Uh, you definitely try to pick up those sweet couple, even if it's just a hundred. Try to pick those up, but we are back Ooh. in Japan again. Can and we go already two have a two. guess from Sheena. Can he go two for two in Japan? Bring home yet another one on the Japanese island as Tokyo is one guess. He is in the other. Indeed. Four points, five city. times multiplier. Oh. That could have been fatal. It definitely could. Definitely um. could, but not quite the case. Close there too, though, as we hop on into round number nine. Japan wasn't going to win him the game, but this time around, close there to 1300 health for MK. I still see a chance for MK here. Uh, we have a Thailand location. Um, yellow center line driving on the right. Just be fast. Pulls, yep. And he goes south immediately. Which I would agree with. We have those long insulators. Oh. However, Sheena doesn't agree. As I said, this can be the win for MK if it is in the south. It swings in one round. Does it swing in the other immediately there? After no, but it doesn't. It wasn't. He saw it. Wow. Wow. He saw something we did not. MK goes down a second round in a row and Sheena stays alive. Helped by the Japan round in the previous one. But I mean, honestly, regardless, had they both been off in the Japan round, this would have taken him out anyway. So impressive. Yeah. Impressive games coming Holy. out here from Sheena to get the lead. Two rounds in a row now. Hopping back over to no move once more. <sighs> Where big, are you at mentally if you're MK here? I, I have to give a big shout out for Sheena there. Um, that looked south to me as well. Mm -hmm. um, and he didn't only pick up the northern wipes. He was also super close. And he didn't really have any information. That was pretty much a no move round for him. So very well deserved win there. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now let's... Um, you know what? Let's not wait any longer. Let's just hop straight into the final game. Or potentially, I should say. The final game. As uh, we now have a 2-1 lead for Sheena. Win this one home. Uh, win this one and you punch your ticket for the GeoGuessr World Cup. How big it would be. For him to make it through here. Didn't manage to make it through the Asia qualifiers, but he could get his redemption arc starting right now. Yeah, he can make history here. Um, starting off in the Americas, which looks like maybe BC, Yukon. I think it's more BC though. Uh, British Columbia, which is where MK guessed. Um, Sheena going more towards Yukon. I can definitely see both. However, valleys like this are more in the south, I think, usually. I'm not too sure here. Oh, no. yeah, oh, no. oh my lord, it what a distance! Close to Benf, even. Um, was it in Benf? I can't see it, but... 2,000 damage round one. That is yeah. got to be the highest that we've seen all day. It's definitely, uh, definitely the start. that, Like, if you're MK and you want to claw back into this, that is definitely, definitely the start that you want to have here. Yeah, and I think MK is happy to start off with that round, even oh, yeah. though it's not too many points on round one. Um, you still like to see that if you're behind. Um, mm. Kind of gives you hope to come back, strike back from that. And we are in Germany. Um, really hard to region guess. This one, I thought... Yeah, okay. That's just central. <laughs> okay, so a little... Um, important yeah, reclaim of points there for, mm -hmm. uh, for Sheena. Yeah. I'd say after such a big hit... In the very first round, evening out things just a little bit, just a little bit. Important. That is important, and this could also be a couple points. I mean, we are in Mexico, I would say, with this uh, grainy road, yellow you zoom in road lines. We have a couple down. signs that are also specific for Mexico. Um, we have a Yucatan, guess, which makes sense with the landscape. It's pretty flat. We have an east-west road here. Um, but yeah, I can see Sheena's guess because I thought it could be somewhere along the coast. Mm -hmm. um, 
further west, but I think Yucatan is the default guess here. Did he see the same sign that the MK saw? He must have, and yep, now mm -hmm. they are. Yeah. On point, MK almost 5 king that initially. Yeah. Opted to go a bit further towards the west, and that's going to be the difference maker there. But um, Sheena, not in a favorable position coming into round 4, already at under half health. And we move on to another Europe round. Let's see. Um, the last round, we or on the last uh, game, we could see Sheena pick up a lot of points in Europe by going just right country in Slovakia. However, here we have a lot of tile roofs, um, which usually makes me think something like Balkans, Croatia, Bulgaria, um, or even Western Romania. Uh, we have a Croatia guess from MK. Don't see too much to work with, but yeah, Sheena is in Western Romania, MK in Croatia, so they are splitting up again on countries. Mm -hmm. 2.5 times and multiply and Sheena on point again. Again, Sheena shows off his strength over MK in Europe, picking up the right country. Um, it's good for Sheena guess. too. I mean, he's been struggling earlier in, uh, in Europe today, so nice for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice to see him bounce back here. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, and on the other hand, we have a round without any buildings, without any signs. With a gravel road and some greens. Yep. All you get. Um, that is all you get. If Sheena could win this one, that's potentially evening out. Coming into round six would be looking good. MK2 yeah. would want it. He's going to go West Virginia here. Yeah, it should be US with the There's carver in the front. I mean, the vegetation also checks out, the landscape checks out. Pretty wide road, but they have different region guesses. Yeah. So. Pretty big distance and to them. It is up towards Ooh, Wisconsin. Wow. Okay. That so, uh, I mean, could have been massive points. It's still going to be, but could have been game earlier. And now we are headed into, I mean, game territory effectively here. It's round number six, 3.5 times multiplier. If. Sheena takes this round. He could potentially punch his ticket for the GeoGuessr World Cup. MK needs to win it to stay alive. Yeah, Sheena has a pretty good lead here. But at the same time, we are also getting into late rounds where you also have more multipliers. Again, no region guess from MK, just center Germany. I would say it looks a bit more east. Um, I could really see anything. Uh, I like the Berlin guess a lot. Um, but we will see. It was just center. That's just um, how Germany is sometimes, especially yep. on a rural round like this. But MK picking up the lead. Oh, I mean, I... Oh my lord, this is a straight road. Um... Oh, <laughs> it is. Um, well, I mean, maybe you can line it up. It's obviously it's not necessarily as far as we see it, or a little further, I mean. But uh, let's see now what they make of it. Both under 2k with four times multiplier. I feel like with how different this or diff hard to pick this territory is, this should be game, right? Or no? What are you seeing um, here? Um, I don't know. They are both pretty good at big countries. Uh, we are in Brazil here, uh, and as you said, we have a long stretch of road. That's where you also saw a lineup from MK, and mm. he is on a road that lines up. Which also makes sense. Only seven seconds left for Sheena to find a road that lines up here, though. He's south. Uh, quite of the yeah, quite different guesses here. It's even further north. Wow, I expected it also to be a bit further south. And you know what? And that picks is it up gonna there. be game, and therefore, for the first time in all of today, we are headed in to NMP set and what better time to do so than coming in to the grand finals and now I'm gonna hold you to what you said earlier Gilochis because you said if we do make it to NMPC I'm gonna have a guess on who's gonna win it where are we going with this one tell me with those both, both players I did expect it to go NMPC okay uh, to be honest it was something I did um, see coming and I think Sheena's really someone who has insane scores on NMPZ games. I saw a couple of games where he just did insane scores on M NMPZ games, mm -hmm. especially also in big countries. So I think he's the favorite here, but I'm happy to s Happy to, to be proven anything. wrong. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, you know what? Again, tell. I mean, we could be talking all day. I don't I don't want to I don't want to have you guys sit back. It's late for some. It's early because I yep. think we're we're closing in on 7 a.m. for Sheena. So you know what? Let's just get this final round 
on their way. The winner of this NMP set goes to Stockholm next month to compete in the GeoGuessr World Cup. This could not be more down the line. It's a 2-2 score as we get ready for NMP set. And what a beautiful, beautiful location to kick things off. I would agree. Um, but this yeah, is what no we one see. Likes we don't waiting. get to we spin the same going. way. It's only us. Right. <laughs> this is right what they get. Into the NMPZ game. Um, but yeah, we have a pretty quick quest, both in Greece and yeah. Okay. Um, could have seen a couple other places in Europe, but by default with that landscape, uh, Greece makes a lot of sense also. I, I feel don't like know it's cheating that the... I spun around the mouse before. I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry, Chad. Maybe I'm you sorry. shouldn't. I will, yeah, you I, won't, shouldn't. I, won't, I will give us as hard of a competition as the players did. Here we go. Let's just keep yes. them playing. They're both uh, eager to get this underway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as you panned, I knew it's Greece because of the reflector, but I think they also saw it on an NPC. Hmm. Um, however, we have a Brazil guest here. Makes sense with this dirt road. But I could see a couple other countries as well, but they both agree on that. Uh, we have a pole in the distance. I can't tell if that's a ladder pole, which would um, confirm Brazil. Uh, if it is, and it was just Maranhão. Is there a world um, in which you, as a pro GeoGuessr player, want to have two monitors? One that is like a normal 24-inch monitor, and then like a 60-inch TV? So that when you play NMP set, you just go over to the big TV and play on that for all the small details? I mean, that would feel wrong. That <laughs> would feel a bit unfair. Why? But, uh, it would help. It would help, definitely. That's what I was thinking. Me. You like, just have a massive sometimes... TV over the other, and you dual monitor your gaming setup for tournaments. Yeah. I mean, we. I made that experience playing uh, with communities mm -hmm. where I said, yo, how did you get that round? How did you do that? And they were just saying, yeah, it just set it down there. No. Yeah. And I said, yeah, I saw the sign, but I didn't. Uh, Serbia guess now for MK already two thousand points ahead. Sheena doesn't look too happy with Isn't these. Isn't the easiest. Um, Serbia is an interesting guess, but I can't see Ooh. it. Um, Romania? Not too sure. I don't know if that's a hedge. It was Romania? Ooh. Too many points, of course. It's still early days. Only round three, but five hundred yeah. taking off of MK. Nice little comeback attempt there for Sheena again. This is the final round. There will be nothing else after this. Yet another. Look at how beautiful this is. We are being gifted some very, very nice locations here today. I would agree. Every location so far has been looking pretty nice. Um, yeah, we are in Norway. We have water to the east, and I don't see any land. Um, you want me to just? Turn the mouse like two centimeters to the right because then we might see you later. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have Far up to the north fair. is where uh, MK is going to go. Oh, he's further south on this. This is going to yeah. be big points. That's something you see a lot in Norway uh, where both players can decide on north or south. Um, mm. What a coast east is interesting. I would lean more towards the north with that. Well, um, he is further south. Huge we'll points. 2.5 times multiplier and it is going to go yeah, north. We are. Yeah, if by chances you have uh, more places with water east up there in the north. But of course you can also see it further down, but yeah. Sheena, Sheena, Sheena. Pressure is on. MK looking focused as ever. Sat at 5,500 and Sheena, one bad guess here and it could be game over. We are what seems like to be the US. We have some southern pines. Uh, with these lines, MK's guess makes a lot of sense. Uh, these look a bit narrow, divided. However, Sheena is in Georgia. If he's off uh, here, that's Even game. in the Car Carolinas, um, this can be game. Definitely could be. Who will get it? It's gonna be and MK. It will it be MK. enough game? Yes, it will. And it that's is. gonna be MK out wow. with the win, securing himself a seat. At the GeoGuessr World Cup, Sheena got to win twice in Japan, and now MK takes it home in the US. What a finish.